Scottish to speak English. Well, tonight I'm going to give you three pieces on humanity. One which gives reference to Robert Burns, who was a Scottish bard from the 18th century. And to be very honest with you, what he says in 1795 is every bit as relevant as what somebody will say to you in 2012. It's called A Man's a Man for All That. Is therefore on his poverty that hangs his head and all that. The coward slave we pass him by. We dare be poor for all that, for all that and all that. Our towels obscure and all that. His rank is but the guinea stamp. The man's the gold for all that. What though on homely fare we dine, we wear coast grey woolen and all that. Give fools their silks and knaves their wine. But a man's a man for all that and all that and all that. Their tinsel shows and all that. The honest man, though ever so poor, is king of men for all that. You see yonder Tansari called Lord, who struts and stares on all that. Though hundreds worship at his word, he's but a fool for all that and all that and all that. His ribbon stars and all that. But the man of independent mind, he looks and laughs at all that. A prince can make a belted knight, a dato, tansari MP, and all that. But an honest man is above his might. Good faith, he must not fault that. For all that, and all that. Their dignities and all that. The lack of sense and pride of worth are higher rank than all that. Then let us pray that come what may, and come it will for all that, that sense and worth for all the earth shall have first place and all that. And all that, and all that, is coming yet for all that, that man to man, the whole world o'er, will brothers, sisters be for all that. The second piece is a contemporary piece and is written in reference to Robert Burns. My version of a man is a man for all that. He serves all day and with a smile, wishing he could run a mile away from that dato sir and tansery. They think they have him underfoot, remember. Life is slippery at the top. Down the slimy ladder they may drop. To hell and back. A man's a man for all that. She may have nothing but her name. Which to her family she brought shame. Because she was so different from the rest, you know. Her she gave quite a good show for the boys. These big wings big wigs with their fancy cars. Screw this, screw that, then put it back. Of home they go to wife and kids. While his passion of the night sleeps far away and out of sight, takes shelter from the storm. So long the night, a man's a man for all that. The third is about a boy that I saw in Starbucks at the New Year, and this is what I hope will happen in 2013. To the boy, the year and all it encompasses is new. To me, as I reflect through Starbucks window, it's an old year, gone. 
What pleasures, regrets, hopes did we fulfill our hopes and dreams? I sit sipping Americano in hot milk, just the way I like it. The hills, sea, and small towns on the mainland are present in the glass window. That is the past. What is the future? The boy, three or four, Chinese, Like all boys his age, has little fear, no hang-ups, no hatred or discrimination, no politics or religion. He walks across to the Malay boy of similar age, takes one of his chocolates and smiles. Immediate camaraderie between new young friends. His parents smile also politely to each other, but they don't speak. Though the kids try their best to communicate, it is simple. So, how do we move on in 2013? I'll tell you what. Go and leave your cultural baggage at the door. Put it in the trash. Stay afresh. And act like kids. Go away at your shoe size. We know very little anyway, it seems. It's like a very good place to begin. Happy 2013.